So landreotide uh, is a somatostatin analog, um, and um, it um, uh, acts on uh, somatostatin receptors, um, subtypes 2 and 5. So there are five different subtypes of somatostatin receptors, 1 through 5. And uh, landreotide, very similar to octreotide, acts on these two uh, subtypes, more so on 2 than, uh, than 5. Um, and similar to uh, octreotide and other somatostatin analogs, uh, it has an inhibitory effect on multiple uh, secretory uh, functions uh, throughout the body. Um, um, in, um, and uh, it, the clarinet trial, uh, th that was a large trial, uh, that looked at uh, gastroenteropancreatic neuroendocrine tumors um, who were advanced, unresectable. Patients were randomized to landreotide uh, versus placebo um, and with a primary endpoint of progression-free survival. And um, the study uh, met its endpoint. Uh, the uh, progression-free survival in the placebo arm was about 18 months. And in the treatment arm, uh, the primary endpoint had not reached by the time of data cutoff. Uh, with a very, very uh, uh, impressive hazard ratio. So this trial established the anti-proliferative effect of uh, landreotide uh, in addition to its anti-secretory uh, uh, effects. Um, so this, uh, the clarinet trial extended the results of the PROMIT trial. PROMIT trial looked at another somatostatin analog, octreotide, in just small bowel uh, neuroendocrine tumors. So the clarinet trial looked at a larger population, all GI neuroendocrine tumors, including pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors. So it extended uh, that, um, uh, that kind of patient uh, population. So it is currently FDA approved for GI neuroendocrine tumors, uh, including pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors. Uh, with regards to its role in, uh, uh, so we've talked about the anti-proliferative effects. Now with regards to its role in uh, carcinoid syndrome, um, in my mind, I do think it is uh, effective. Uh, and uh, what I'm not sure about is whether it's ha it has FDA approval for uh, treating carcinoid uh, syndrome. Right.